Question Does God really exist? That is a very tough question to answer. You will find that if you talk to fellow believers, or especially the God of the Bible, most would approach it from a biblical perspective, quoting the scriptures. But seven out of ten people out there in the world does not believe in God or does not believe in the Bible. How do we communicate the existence of God to seven out of ten people in this world? So what I'm going to try and do in a series of four or more presentation is to provide proof or some evidence within the known universe. In other words, provide proof using our easily understood senses, meaning reasoning, logic, what we can see with our eyes and reason out with our minds, if you like. The, the evidences of God's existence can be examined in about four categories, if you like, that's available um, in the world today. And the four categories or four key forms of argument are these. The first course argument, the design argument, the moral law argument, and one that's used quite regularly, the personal experience argument. So in the next series of four or five presentations, I'm going to cover each and every one of these arguments with the objective of proving God's existence without referring to the Bible per se. The purpose of this is twofold. I want to reach out to people who firstly do not believe in the God of the Bible and secondly for those who are already believers in the God of the Bible to reaffirm your faith and your belief. And I trust that and I would wish that this four presentations will achieve that.